Hey guys, Flicky here and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna do a speed build of a clock tower park uh, here in my plaza. Yeah, I finally got my hands on a lot of really cute new items and I just really wanted to try my hand at building something and filling my space. So let's just hop right in. All right, so to start with, I thought I would take out of the catalog every item that I thought I could use. I tried to use the gigantic fountain, but um, didn't think it would quite fit this space. Um, but yeah, just like got some flowers out, some um, picnic tables, there's the gazebos. I absolutely adore those they are so beautiful i think like a lot of uh, other players i had to grind so hard to be able to unlock them but i'm really really happy that i did so just starting to lay out the path here i had a um, somewhat of an idea of what i wanted to do originally of um, where I kind of wanted the, the, the clock to go because obviously it's the um, the major item that I kind of wanted to build this whole plaza around so I just uh, started moving things out of the way and seeing um, how I could put my path in and trying to make it as symmetrical as possible as um, the other side because yes I do have that weird symmetry OCD like a lot of um, other builders probably have as well. There's the clock tower. Uh, it's so, so cute. I loved it. The second I saw it, I was like, yes, I am absolutely doing a build around that item specifically. Um, it's it's adorable. And I really like those um, colored uh, planners that I picked. The um, That is the yellow, green and purple, I believe, um, rectangle planners. Uh, I thought they were really cute with that area. So yeah, just extending it now and uh, just, yeah, really, really enjoyed that, that part. Just the whole design, um, the whole designing in general. I just really, really enjoyed doing that. And I don't know about other um, builders in this game. You guys can let me know in the comments. Do you uh, like designing in other games? Have you ever designed in other games uh, before? I have played uh, and designed in um, The Sims, Animal Crossing, uh, that kind of, you know, very creative games that um, gives you um, some solid tools to decorate and build environments and neighborhoods and parks and plazas and all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, I just really, really enjoy my time doing that. It's, uh, it's quite addicting really, <laughs> but also therapeutic in the same time. So yeah, I've just, I've been at it for several years now and, uh, I don't know why this game was just like... That's it. I just clapped, sorry. Um, but yeah, this game was like, that's it. I have good ideas of things that I can create in this game and that I can share with people. And I, I just had to. I just had to. I couldn't help myself. So right now I'm just uh, taking out some more shrubbery, uh, some more foliage, if you will. I am a huge fan of foliage. Uh, it's a whole thing, really. <laughs> Something my uh, my friends uh, kind of um, often often make fun of me for, I guess you could say, or maybe not make fun of, but I guess uh, know that I have a thing for foliage. Um, a, a, a bit of a foliage, a foliageophile? Is that a word in English? Y'all, y'all tell me. Um, I don't know. I'm not English native. <laughs> so just, uh, putting in some benches now. I love those trellises. Uh, I don't know if trellises is the right word for the 
plural, but you guys, again, let me know in the comments. Um, I love those little big trellis arches, though. I used a couple of them at the front, as you can see. Uh, put in a few more bushes at the end, moving up that big tree. Um, I really love those, like, inclined... Um, beautiful big trees um it was just inclined the wrong way so i just turned it around uh and there we go putting the gazebos in i absolutely love those already probably gushed enough about them so i will i will restrain myself i will but they're so pretty i hope we have more items in that kind of aesthetic uh if you will with like the beautiful vines going around them and the fair lights hung up um i think that's absolutely beautiful so cute it goes great with the aesthetic that i have in mind for a lot of designs in this game so i yes please give me more absolutely but yeah just uh, adding in some more bushes at the back to just make sure that it looks you know uh maybe not manicured per se but at least natural enough and you know maintained um that we have uh enough foliage around and yeah just make it look nice um i did this grill that i borrowed like uh i think a, a lot of other players uh have uh started to pick on the, the pick up those tricks as well of uh, moving things around and using them in other biomes so i just thought this was the perfect spot for it we have a cute little picnic area just put a grill in there yes absolutely uh, i go and cook there all the time actually so it's quite neat it's quite neat uh, I just swept those uh, hedges over there because it's been bothering me for a while now in my game that I have two different hedges on this, uh, on either side of this path. So yeah, I finally switched it and put the right hedge uh, in there. Um, switched up, I think, the flower pots as well. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go. No, I'm switching them so that it's also a bit more symmetrical and makes more sense, at least to me. Maybe nobody else cares. Y'all let me know. just um, kind of shuffling around some of the foliage I had in this corner to make it look like it's gonna fit in more um, with the idea I had for this area because as obviously it is the case I think for a lot of players right now I do have like a few areas that are pretty much mostly done at least in my mind um, and I just have like some areas in between you know like it was the case sometimes in Animal Crossing I remember when I was uh, rebuilding my island so yeah, I just, I, f I felt like in this one, I wanted it to fit in the space that I had and not having to switch things around it too, too much. So I just, you know, just shuffled a couple things here and there, make it look like um, it was like a whole kind of unified area. Just make it a bit more organic, I guess. And um, yeah, I just, I, I really like how it turned out. Uh, moving a couple more trees, get things out of the way. Oh, more foliage in my face. That's fine. That happens. Um, but yeah, just uh, picking up um, kind of the colors, basically, the color schemes, if you will, of the foliage that I'm choosing, which, you know, bear with me. I, um, I'm just starting out, you know, making uh, actually recorded builds and all that, so... I think in the next few builds, I will probably try to do that beforehand. Um, so I don't, you know, have the whole um, picking process and then, you know, kind of separating the ones that I already use that aren't right for the color scheme that I have in mind now and having to switch a lot of things around. So uh, I spared you guys a little bit of that I, in the editing. Obviously, I took out some of it, but yeah, I just, uh, for this area specifically for the plaza, I think I mainly went for the foliage from oof don't mind the, the save real quick i have this issue which um i think a lot of players are encountering at this uh at this time which is that the <laughs> furniture slash build mode um whenever i exit it after quite a while of playing with it uh it's um, reverting a lot of the changes that I made uh, and it happened while I was doing this build again I edited that out so you guys don't have to worry about that but um, it's quite frustrating obviously um, it's like reverting progress you know not saving 
uh, the progress you've made and yeah it's not ideal so hopefully they tackle that in the next update uh, but yeah I did I do have that problem <laughs> like a lot of people so if you see in a lot of my videos that there are um, moments where I'm exiting out of furniture mode and then going right back in or exiting and then saving my game and then going right back in that is why because I'm trying to avoid losing the progress that I made in, in the in the designing and creating process. So yeah, um, back to what I was saying <laughs> before though, before I remember to talk about that. Um, the, the color scheme uh, that I picked for uh, my plaza is mainly, as you can see, uh, a lot of the actual plaza uh, foliage. I also added quite a few of the meadows because I love, love, love this really kind of deep, vibrant green. I think you can see a lot of those bushes uh, around. So I intermingled those ones and I think I might have added a couple pops of the bushes from the Frosted Heights, the really beautiful pale green that you might see in a couple of places. Um, I can't remember specifically where I put them, but there's like a couple of them in there. Uh, I love those. I think those ones marry really, really well together. So uh, yeah. Here I am trying to figure out what to do um, on the opposite area to the gazebos, which is a bit like the more, you know, chill, natural, like less manicured um, picnic area. So I have this really cute uh, picnic blanket that you can see on the ground right now that I've had for a little while now. And I was really hoping that I could, you know, make like a little, a cute little park that I could put that in for. Obviously, villagers don't use them, but you know, we, we can pretend. We all have to pretend, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I just really wanted to um, fit that in there somewhere. So this is me trying to figure out what is going to go around it. <laughs> I um, Yes, I love that little tree trunk thing. That is a bench, basically. I want more benches, right? How many How many of y'all want more benches? Please let me know in the comments like what, uh, how many benches you want and other items that you want as well, because I feel like I want so many. <laughs> um, but here I am trying to like delimitate the space a little bit better. So I extended finally this path that was uh, in between basically uh, what is still my housing, uh, my house area uh, is not going to stay there, by the way. I am definitely moving that elsewhere at some point. I just uh, haven't really gotten around to it. I, I had like a couple other like builds that I wanted to take care of first. Um, another one's coming up uh, probably shortly after this one, so hopefully you guys look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I just um, wanted to delimitate the space like within the park better. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet, extend that path. I've been thinking about doing it for so long now anyway. So I just went ahead and did it. Um, modified the, this little like bench area that you could see like uh, next to the to the well plaza uh, over there and then use the trellises I love those trellises man I really do I hope eventually we get some that like are kind of like half you know like half trellises kind of uh, heights that would be like a little smaller that would be like so cute honestly maybe some with different colors maybe some with different flowers like please by all means give them give me all of the trellises please i beg so i decided to do this little path in the middle um, because this whole this whole like second half of the of the park i was just really I think maybe not struggling, but for a little bit, I was quite unsure about how I wanted it um, to to kind of like look like. Um, I was kind of unsure about the space, and I had those two different picnic items that I wasn't really too sure on how to um, like integrate in it, basically. So I tried a bunch of different things, really. Uh, again spared you guys a lot of trial and error process um, that I edited out. Um, oh, I love those little radios um, that have uh, some of the songs from Disney movies. Really, really cute. Also love that. There we go. I'm using this um, cute little uh, tree uh, branch trunk thingy as the bench, uh, putting in more foliage. 
think I saw, yes, you can see those cute little topiaries that we can craft uh, near the entrance uh, next to the trellises. I adore those. I also hope we get more of these um, in different colors because I do love the terracotta pots. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely love those. Terracotta for days. Um, but maybe some topiaries with different flowers in them. Um, don't hate me. I'm not necessarily a big fan of pink. <laughs> so I would love some topiaries with like maybe blue and yellow flowers and just white. Um, some red flowers, purple, literally anything else, please. <laughs> Here we are putting uh, some kind of final details, really. I um, I caved with the little rocks. I caved. I've seen many content creators using those to sort of delimitate the paths. Basically use those as like an edge to the paths. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of doing that. Uh, and for very one, one very simple reason, and that's because the lack of item variety we have in the game right now. Um, because it is early access, it's not launched yet, so we basically have like a couple of small rocks. Um, and that's it, that's it really. And so if you put a bunch of them in a row, in a line, it just doesn't look natural at all, in my personal opinion. Um, there's plenty of like amazing builds out there that use that technique and they make it look great. Uh, I'm not disputing that at all, I just I didn't feel like doing it. Uh, in my own builds. I don't think that I could make it look good personally, so I use them in um, small amounts, basically. I use them for corners, little accents here and there. Um, but yeah, I really like them, but I do want more um, kind of rock diversity, I guess, in a sense, before I start doing things like that. Um, yeah, yeah. So more small rocks, please, basically. <laughs> Here I am, well, getting rid of some of the small flowers that sprouted uh, here and there while exiting the furniture mode. Uh, but I'm using the muddy path as a way of um, just having some dirt, just having some different texture on the ground, really, to just uh, add some more detail to the, to the build. Just have, you know, a little bit of a change in texture. I um, I didn't like it when it was going through all the way between gazebos, so I just decided to separate it, uh, make it a little smaller, so like it's a, you can see it's like a little bit of dirt under the gazebos, but the, I extended the the plaza and um, the actual brick flooring itself uh, a bit more. I really do like it. I think it looks very cute. Um, I was I was quite pleased with how it looked. Uh, I just decided to turn around a couple of the tables um, to make sure that uh, I could kind of like move around um, a little bit better around them. I'm not sure I can um, really reach a lot of the things that are in the back, like the bushes, but at the same time I'm not sure why you would need to necessarily, so... I don't know, For just like in Animal Crossing, I figured that in this kind of game I would just build and just let the creative flow, you know, just take control and not worry too, too much about functionality. I do really do worry about functionality a lot of the time, and that's why you'll see me um, kind of include things in my build like um, mobility, right? Like making sure um, that a path is like free and as direct as possible. Like things, small things like quality of life um, and convenience um, in the gameplay that I personally really enjoy in my game. Uh, so I do try to integrate that um, as much as possible. But here we are. Uh, I think we are almost at the end. Oh, yes, I did realize that um, this little bit right there, the separation between um, my farm basically and the park needed a bit more, so I just put in uh, a couple extra lights. I had to uh, exit build mode, I think you noticed there maybe for a second. Uh, edit it out, uh, but I uh, had to go in, uh, in crafting mode uh, just to make a couple more lights and a couple more uh, trellis arches. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty much it, so let's have a look at the final result.
So here we are with the final results. What did you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this speed build. I actually had a lot of fun creating this and I really have been enjoying it in my gameplay as well. Uh, it's definitely a lot better to look at than the empty plot of land with a couple bushes that I had before. So yeah, I hope this uh, maybe inspires some of you if y'all uh, need some ideas. I know not everybody just loves decorating, so... Um, but here you go. Ooh, leaves in the face. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really happy with this build. I've really enjoyed building it and I'm really happy to share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you did and if you are gonna take some inspiration from it maybe so yeah um i think that's about it i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the stills what's left of it and thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it if you made it this far <laughs> that's amazing thank you uh please like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and if you want to see more of it yeah until then i'll see you guys later bye